Hi, it's Linda from No Frills ASMR. I thought today we could talk about baseball. And with baseball, there's a lot to talk about. You could talk about the history, the terminology. But I think today we'll start with just, which means there might be future videos. <laughs> but today we'll start with the basics of the rules of play. Um, I have spent the last hour talking to my sister, my mom and my dad, and my uncle about the rules of baseball. And I knew some, I've watched baseball, but um, honestly, I kind of had forgotten <laughs> a lot of it. Um, so now I've spent, I don't know, that hour plus I looked up a little bit on Wikipedia I'm pretty sure I'm the expert, so I'm the person who you should learn baseball from. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I will try to explain it as best I can. Um, I did a video like this on NFL football, if you're interested, that's out there. So today, hardball baseball. Now there's softball, but we're doing Major League Baseball, American Baseball, <clears throat> um, the hardball. So let's start. <clears throat> okay. Just so you don't think that I'm taking myself seriously, I do have the paint and pad today, which I think was from my childhood. <laughs> Let me could draw a kitty cat, but today's baseball day. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to try to just draw the baseball. It's called a baseball diamond. I'll try to draw that just so we have something to talk about. All right, this is home plate. So the basic rule of baseball, I mean, the, the objective of baseball is to score more runs than your opponent. That's the basic objective. Um, so, but we'll draw the... Uh, baseball diamond, which is the playing field for baseball. I'll do my best. I'm not a, a great artist, but I think we can probably do this <laughs> semi-close. About right there. It's looking. So this would be first base and then up here is second, and here is third. And this base, which I suppose is fourth, is home plate. So that's called home. And behind home is the catcher's mound, and the catcher, we'll go into this more, but the catcher and the umpire are here. So you have your bases, and then draw this let me think okay let's come out here <laughs> okay okay this area beyond that this will be um sand in here and this is grass and this is called the outfield Uh oh, I want to spell out field correctly. <laughs> and this is the infield. Um, I don't know where to write it because I might want to put my guys in here. But we'll just write it here, infield. Can you see with this purple crayon? Yeah, I guess so. Looks like you can. Okay. All right, so this is the outfield out here. And this is the infield. And these are called bases. And your batter bats from home plate and your pitcher pitches from what's called the pitcher mound in the center. I need a um, smaller pen to write with. Hold on, let me grab. I'm going to reach across here, guys. Hold on. Right about there. Okay. This is the pitcher mound. Pitcher's mound. 
So the pitcher is the guy who takes the ball and he throws it to the batter. And then the batter has a wood or aluminum bat. Um, I don't know. They could be made. I didn't look up bats. <laughs> but he has a bat and he hits the ball with the bat, hopefully. And it goes out here and then he will be able to run the bases. And in order to get a score, you have to hit the ball and one way or another, make it around all the bases back to home plate. And that is when you'll get a score. So you don't get a score for just running to a base. You get a score for making it all the way around and back to home plate. All right. Uh, let's see. So we did this. Um, all right, let me get out. I got my little box of stuff. Let's see what we have. I don't have my, um, in the football video, I used Halo Risk, guys, which I would have used again, but I don't have them. So I have stuff, like I have a goat. He could be the empire. He's too big. Okay. <laughs> I think these are from Q. I think these will work for our players. And maybe these can be the other team's players. Somebody mentioned people could be colorblind and have trouble seeing these, but I think that because they're different shapes, it'll be okay. I think the shapes will make it easy to see. Okay, so we'll put those away. Should we move this out of the way, maybe? All right, so you have your pitcher on the pitcher's mound. You have nine players. Each team's going to have nine players. I'm going to need more guys. Ooh. You have your batter. He's on the batter uh, home plate. Well, he's really kind of off of home plate. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So you, each team has nine players. So this team will have a player who's the first baseman, the second baseman, the third baseman, the pitcher. They will have what's called a catcher. So if the ball gets thrown and goes past the batter, the catcher catches it. And then they have what are called outfielders. So they have a right outfield, a left outfield, and a center field. Am I forgetting? And then the short stop. And the short stop is here because most batters who are right-handed their ball, it can sometimes not go up, but will roll on the ground. It'll go right here. So they keep a short stop here. And I think this guy a lot of times hangs out here in case you have a left-handed hitter. But anyway, so let's make sure we have enough. We have catcher. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the batting team also has nine players. But they can only, you know, they, they're they waiting. They're waiting back here to hit. So they're in the, um, what do they call where they all hang out? Uh, is it the bullpen? That doesn't sound right. Yeah, I can't think of the word. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. <laughs> Maybe it'll come to me later. All right. And then also... There is an area. Where's my crayon? Hold on. Let's get the crayon. You know what's funny? This crayon is purple, but it sure looks blue, doesn't it? All right. So there is an area here. I think right there. Oops. My thing isn't big enough to show everything I want to show. All right, this, these are coaches boxes. Coaches box, let's say. 
And the coach will stand here and keep an eye on this base. And if he thinks like this guy can run and make it or steal a base, we'll have to talk about that. He'll give him coaching advice. He'll scream at him from here and say, go, you know, whatever. So there's one on each side, a coach's box. Okay, and then here in this area behind home plate, this is where you have a catcher who catches the balls that the pitcher throws that the hitter doesn't hit. And behind the catcher, I mean directly behind the catcher, there's an umpire. And the... Um, oops, shoot. <laughs> Sorry. I can't talk and spell at the same time. So the umpire is right... Well, I need a third character. Hold on. Is right behind the uh, catcher, and he's like a referee. He can say whether it's a a ball or a strike or a foul ball. He is calling the shots there, so he's not on either team. He is the umpire. Okay, so. <laughs> I said there are two teams of nine players, right? In a ball game, you have nine. Hold on, let me get a piece of paper. You have nine innings. Did I write that outside? I think I wrote it outside of the screen. Sorry. I'm I'm in uh. Tennessee, I have a different setup here, and I get a little confused. So you have nine innings, whoop. and in each inning, there's the um, the top of the inning and the bottom of the inning. And at the top of the inning, the away team bats, and at the bottom of the inning, the home team bats. So during each inning, hold on, I wrote this down. disorganized you guys I mean I don't know I know I wrote it down hold on <laughs> I'm gonna drive myself crazy huh oh my goodness I had a little thing I was going to cut up. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just wing it. Sorry about that. Okay, so each inning you have, you can get <laughs> three strikes. I really want to find that piece of paper because it had kind of that information. Oh, well. oh, I got it, guys. I got it. It fell down. I'm sorry, this is very, very unorganized. Okay. So each batter, well, no. Each batting team. Hold on, let me clarify my thoughts. Now I'm all shook up. <laughs> okay, so the guy who's batting, he, his goal is to hit the ball and get it as far as he can. In a perfect batting, he hits the ball and it goes past the outfield, out past here where you're out into the stands and all the crowd is there, or it goes outside the park. That'd be really cool. And that is a home run. So that's a great hit. The other great hit is if he hits it out here and these guys don't catch it and it takes them a minute to get the ball and then throw it, and he gets to run and make a base or two or three or, you know, well, if he gets here, it's a home run. If he goes all the way around, that's called a home run. But usually he'll make it, you know, maybe one base. And that would be a good, good job. <laughs> um, so that would be a hit. But sometimes there is an area, I'm going to have to draw. And I don't know how I'm going to draw this exactly, but I'll figure it out. We're erasing baseball. Okay. 
when you're uh, batting, here's our guy. He has a bat in his hands. Um, I don't know how to draw a baseball bat. <laughs> there is an area, and here's home plate. There is an area right in here. Oops, that's kind of high. That really wouldn't be that high. It's probably right. I think it's right about there. This is called the strike zone. So the umpire will be watching. And if the ball comes within the strike zone and the batter does not hit it, he doesn't even try to hit it because for some reason he thinks it's outside of the strike zone. So he chooses to just stand there. That's a strike. <laughs> And if the, I'm trying to make sure I'm thinking of this right. If the pitcher pitches the ball and the ball comes way high or way outside or way low of the strike zone and the batter chooses to not hit it, so he sees this ball's outside, he just stands there, then that is called a ball. Should we just start with that? I think we should start with that. Okay. So our batter is sitting here and the pitch comes in and it's within the strike zone. And he did not try to hit it. So the umpire says, strike one. So he would get three strikes. So let's say that happens three times and the umpire is called strike one, strike two, strike three and you're out so now this guy's like oh I didn't do very good so he goes over here and he's out now let's say this pitcher is so good he has gotten three of these guys out three outs is the end of their time up in that inning so then they have to switch and the other team gets to hit and they're in the outfield now or in the mm, field I don't know what do you call it? Because it wouldn't all be outfield. Now they're the other team. <laughs> I guess I can't think of uh, what they call that. Infield. Infield, outfield. Anyway, they'd be the team who's now pitching. So now if this guy, the pitcher, keeps throwing balls that are outside of the strike zone, and he just doesn't hit them, and he gets balls, what are called balls. If he gets four balls, then they say, four balls, you get to walk. So now, which by the way, I did make a thing for this, I remember now. So if you get four balls, that equals a walk. If you get three strikes, then you're out. And three outs, and the inning for your the bottom or the top of the inning, whatever you're in. It'll end the, that part of the inning. <clears throat> so if you walk, then you're the batter. You've gotten um, four balls. Then you get to walk to this base, and you're there. Now let's pretend like this guy walked. This guy, Now if you do hit, okay, if the ball comes through, in the strike zone or anywhere actually and the batter hits it and he gets a good clean hit out of it then as long as um, nobody if, if okay sorry hold on let me back that up he hits the ball and he gets a good clean hit but it goes and this guy just catches it that's an out so then he's out but if he hits the ball and gets a good clean hit and it goes here and falls to the ground and then he runs over and grabs it he can run, and this guy will move forward. They'll both start running up to the bases. And if this guy can't pick up that ball and throw it to one of his first or second basemen before these guys touch that base, then they're safe. But if he were to throw it here and he hadn't yet touched the base, uh, then this guy can take the ball and he can tag him or t 
back to base. Now I'm slightly confused because I have seen where they kind of run out and around. And they're, oh boy, I should ask that more clearly. But I think if he tags the base, as long as he stands on that base with the ball, then he can't. Oh, I know it. It's probably when he has run over here to grab the ball. And now they're both racing to this base. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But anyway, if they have the ball, if this team has the ball in their hand and they tag him or tag the base, then he's out. But let's pretend this guy was walked. This guy hit a clean ball and they both managed to get to one base. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh. My guys are falling. And then this guy came up to bat. And he, you know, you can get like one strike one ball, one strike. <laughs> so it can take a little while. But let's say he manages to get a hit and they all load up bases. So now all three bases have a player. That's called bases loaded. And that's an exciting time. And that's when you send in this guy. His name's Casey. Casey comes up to bat and the bases are loaded. And the audience is now at a hush because if Casey, and they have probably put in, um, we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, if Casey could manage to hit a home run, which is a ball that he's hit that goes out into the stands or further, but out, whoops, sorry, whoops, 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 but outside of the outfield, if he can hit that, that is called a grand slam home run. So if he does that, it goes way out there. The crowd goes wild. And then he runs here. He runs here. Everybody gets to go all the way around because nobody can stop them. Nobody can stop them from running. So they make all four. And then they get four points, four home runs, at, you know, at once. So that's very exciting. Now, sometimes... You know, the situation where you have a guy here. Well, we'll just put a guy there. Okay. You have a guy on first base, and this guy's getting ready to hit. And the pitcher is, you know, <clears throat> thinking about throwing the ball. And this guy can start sneaking off this base a little bit. And if the coach's box sees an opportunity, I think this is use. I could be a little wrong about this, but I think this is use of this, where he thinks he can go ahead and what they call steal a base. So he can run really fast and try to get to this base, second base, before the pitcher throws the ball to the second baseman. And if he can do that, he can steal a base. And that happens sometimes. Um, and it used to be the pitcher... Every time this guy left this base, he'd throw the ball over here and they'd just be going back and this would, and that would slow the game down. But now they have time limits on how long the pitcher can mm, take before he pitches, but also how many times he can throw to first base. But I didn't look up all the rules. That'll be in a different video that gets more in depth, I think. Oops. So the basics of the game though are you as the batter are trying to hit the ball out as far as you can, um, you have four balls, three strikes <laughs> yeah, to do that. Now, the other thing that can happen is if you are the batter and you hit a ball and it goes, oops, sorry, guy, into, I believe it follows, there's a there's a chalk line. There's a line you can see. And I think it's this line right here. But I'm not positive about that. But anyway, there are lines on the field. And if it goes, the ball goes to this side of that, it's called a foul ball. And a foul ball doesn't count against you. You can, you can hit foul balls. Um, but they don't count for you either. They're just a foul ball. Although I think even if it's a foul ball, if this guy, if one of the outfielders catches the foul ball, it's still an out. So I guess it could count against you, but you can't run on a foul ball. Can this guy run on a foul ball? Hmm, I don't think so. Mm, no, because then they couldn't. Okay. I'm not going to talk about whether he can steal a base on a foul ball because I'm not 
confident enough to speak on that. <laughs> All right. Um, what else? We said we have the infield, we have the outfield, and there's the top of the inning and the bottom of the inning. So the top, the difference with the top of the inning and the bottom of the inning is just who's um, the top of the inning, this team's batting. And then once they're done batting and they switch, then that's the bottom of the inning. So you'll hear that sometimes when they talk about football, um, football, baseball, sorry. <laughs> um, my sister said to make sure I mentioned the seventh inning stretch. There are nine innings and during the seventh inning, they have a thing called the seventh inning stretch. That's more for the crowd and they play some songs everybody sings along to and it's fun. It's just a little break for the crowd. <clears throat> um, let's see what else. I have a couple of notes. Let me see here. Um, yeah, so an out can be when he hits it and they catch it. It can be if the pitcher... Wait, I'm confused by the note I wrote. <laughs> I think if the pitcher hits the batter with the ball, if it hits him, well, no, that would be a, yeah, could that, no, what is that? Wait, now I'm confused. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to get, oh, I know, my dad said a bunt. Um, sometimes the batter will see the ball coming and they'll hold the bat just sort of, instead of swinging it, they just they just hold it still and the ball kind of hits it and bounces off and what that does is just make a very shallow ball is that a right word for it but so it'll kind of go right in here and it gives them a chance to run one base it's kind of hard for them to pick up and then sometimes they'll just take a base by bunting <clears throat> um Oh, uh, my sister mentioned that <clears throat> if the batting team at the bottom of the or the top of the ninth inning and the batting team is, I think this would be right, down in points and they don't make up the points. So then they'd be playing the bottom of the ninth losing and they can't catch up. Then they won't play the bottom of the ninth. They just skip it because they've already lost the game. Oh, my stomach's really <laughs> It's almost lunchtime. My sister's making broccoli cheese soup, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Is there anything else that I'm forgetting just for basics? Um, so, yeah, I, used, I think I talked about all that. <clears throat> I am positive that I've left out a lot of stuff. But I, uh, I will come back and we'll do more because there's plenty more to talk about. But I think I hit on the very, very, very basics of baseball so that we have something to work off of next time we talk about baseball. Um, but I know there's a whole lot more. All these sports, it's funny because you think, oh, that's not that hard to talk about. And then you start to think about different things and um there's a lot more to it <laughs> but I think there's also a thing called the bullpen um and I should have put a note on the bullpen I was reading the history a little bit and they said that's where the, they used to put the crowd there and they were so tucked in there like animals in a pen that they called it the bullpen but is the bullpen here's why I didn't I should have written something down about it because I can't remember if that is where they warm up another batter I mean another pitcher or is that where the teams I don't know I'm gonna have to look that up <laughs> see I told you I don't really know much um oh and then there's a lineup there's for the batting there's a lineup of nine players that they have to submit before the game <clears throat> so you're your batters are the same players who are playing the outfield and, you know, are playing here. Those, the same team is the batting team. They don't have separate teams. Not like football where you have two different players. It's the same players. 
um, and you have to say who your what your lineup is, but you can substitute have like a pinch hitter come in. So you can sometimes switch them out, but if you switch it out, it's switched out for the entire game. I think that's right. Um, so they will kind of strategically set it up so that they have three guys they know can make a base and then their home run hitter. <laughs> that's probably not right. I'm making that up, but I kind of like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> All right, I can't think of anything else. But I know there's a lot more. <laughs> the baseball bat is often called a Louisville slugger. Or that's who makes them. That's the brand. But they're called that kind of like Kleenex are called. I mean, tissues are called Kleenex. Is that right? <laughs> I'm making that up too. <laughs> but it's Louisville slugger. This ball was at my dad's farm. I found it in the dirt. I tried to clean it off. But it just doesn't clean. <laughs> um, <clears throat> all right that's all I can think of uh, I will come back soon with more on baseball but I hope that helped with just the very basics so I'll put all this away and uh, talk to you guys soon okay bye yeah so three outs and an inning three strikes equal an out four balls equal stayed for that <laughs> pitcher outfield 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 shortstop